If you're wondering what the real estate market looks like in Charlotte in May 2023, you've come to the right place. What's going on, family? Welcome back. And to those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Sir Ashley, and I'm here to give you all the information you need as it pertains to the real estate market in Charlotte, the Charlotte MSA. Now, the MSA is Mecklenburg County and all the surrounding counties that touch Mecklenburg, both North and South Carolina, for May 2023. Questions you may be asking, are prices going up? Are prices going down? Is it a good time to buy? Is it a good time to invest? I'll be breaking all of this down and some more throughout this video. So if you're curious about real estate, as I am, come along and let's find out together. First up is new listings. Remember, those 5,800 homes that hit the market in 2022? Well, in 2023, there seems to be a bit of a drop. New listings are down to 4,300. That's a drop of 25%. Actually, a little more than 25%. Whew, that is a significant drop in inventory. If only somebody told you that was going to happen. I remember I did back in summer of 2022. So new listings is down significantly year over year. Next up is pending sales. Now we're going to look at April 2023 because we have to look back to talk about May's numbers. In the Charlotte MSA, we got just over 4,300 pending sales, which is about a 9.1 decrease from the same time in 2022. Now, two obvious reasons why pending sales have decreased is that there's less inventory on the market and interest rates have doubled since last year. So it costs more to buy a home and there's a larger barrier to entry for those looking to buy. Now, the demand is there. There's tons of people wanting to buy. It's just with these interest rates, if people can afford or qualify to buy. Now, buckle up your seatbelts because we're moving on to closed sales. And I hope you're sitting down because in April 2023, we had just under 3,600 closed sales. That number, to be exact, 3,581 closed sales is an over 21% dip from 2022. That is a significant decline. And that is why you have so many real estate agents leaving the industry because there's just not enough transactions for all of those people that jumped in thinking real estate was easy. Now, I know I just gave you a lot of numbers and it's a lot to take in, but I just want to let you know it's not all doom and gloom. I'm not one of those people that just talk about the negative of the housing market. I'm not one that talks about just the positive either. I want to give it to you straight give you the real numbers and let you decide what that means for you and your situation and your family. But now let's talk prices. Our median sales price in April, 2023 was $375,000, actually just under $376,000, which is just a tiny 1.1% dip from the 380,000 in 2022 at this time. But year to date from January, to now, there is a 1.2% increase in the median sale price. Now, I can talk about average sales price, but I believe the better metric is the median sale price because the median sale price takes all of the sales, the high ones, the low ones, and they find the median one. So despite the significant drop in sales, it looks like Charlotte still got some swagger when it comes to prices. I can't believe I just said swagger when it comes to prices, but you know what I mean? Prices year over year are holding steady and year to date prices are actually up. And finally, let's look at the percentage of the original list price received. Now this is important for you sellers out there and for you buyers. For you buyers, you know what you should offer or the general range in which you should offer. And sellers, this number gives you a reasonable number to expect when you list your property. In April, 2023, sellers received 97.5% of the original list price. That's down 5.2% compared to this time last year when sellers were getting over 102% of the list price. Remember last year, it was absolutely bonkers in the real estate market. Inventory was low, interest rates were even lower, and you had multiple offers and bidding wars for just about every property. So right now, if you're a seller, you will need to work a little harder 
to woo those buyers than the sellers last year. But please know inventory is still low. So if you price your property correctly, it will see multiple offers right now. There you have it. That is the latest scoop on the Charlotte housing market. Now that is the Charlotte MSA, all the counties that are touching Mecklenburg County and Mecklenburg County is the county in which Charlotte is in. Now, remember, this is taking the general area as a whole. If you're looking for something specific, please get in touch with my team and I so we can help you. I'm Sir Ashley, your real estate advisor right here in the Carolinas, and we have offices in Charlotte and in Fort Mill. So wherever you're looking to buy, sell, or invest, reach out to us. Feel free to download our app and be sure to hit that like button and share this with somebody who you think this might be a help to. Talk soon.